to my channel welcome back if you've been here before i'm beautiful love forever aka tay so i'm going to go ahead and get started i already did my eyebrows just because they're time consuming and i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes to do that i'm using my Juvia's place concealer in 16 and my urban decay all-nighter setting powder Also, I'm really trying to grow my channel this year. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell and you click all. So you'll be alerted about my uploads. So I upload a new short every Monday and a new video every Friday. Next, I'm using Juvia's Place the Magic Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to use that pink shade and put that all over my lids. I'm just using the orangey brown shade that's in the same palette and I'm just putting that in my crease. Next I'm using the Profusion Sparkle Move Hair Face and Body Glitter Stick. And I'm just going to place this on top of that shade that I put down on my lids. For lashes, I'm using the Ioni fluffy natural long lashes and I'm going to use my House of Lashes eyelash glue. To make sure there's no gap showing where I put my lashes, I'm going to use my Sephora eye pencil and then I'm going to use my Essence Waterproof Mascara. Okay, I already moisturized my face. Now I'm going to use the Everyday Humans Rose from Above Mineral Sunscreen. Now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. To correct the dark spots on my face and neck, we're going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Corrector.
Next, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 425. For some more coverage, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in Deep Chestnut. I'm just going to put this all the places where I put my orange corrector. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Dark Warm. I'm just going to put this all the places where the light will naturally hit my face. While that's sitting, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Bronzer Palette in Dark. And I'm going to take that top shade to contour my nose as well as go around my jawline. And I'm going to take the other shade to bronze the other parts of my face. I'm using my Urban Decay setting powder and my ABA setting powder to set where I had that concealer at. Now I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth multitasking face powder and 65 toffee next i'm using the juvia's place blush duo volume 4 palette I'm just going to take a mixture of those two shades for my blush. To highlight, I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion 3D Highlighter. And I'm just going to take those two shades and use those for my highlight.
using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance Lip Cushion in Promised and my Juvia's Place Lip Liner and Brownie. Now I'm just using the LA Girl Holographic Lip Topper and Starlight. Now I'm just tapping in my setting spray. I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And that is it for this makeup tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed this pink glitter eyeshadow makeup look. I definitely enjoyed creating it. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell and you click all so you'll be alerted of all my uploads. I upload a new short every Monday and a new video every Friday. Also, everything I use will be listed in the description box as well as all my social media handles. And please like, comment, and share. I would love to hear from you all. And I will see you on the next one. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Bye.